Let's move on to your presentation at this conference that you'll be making later in the day. The theme is the demise of the Federal Reserve. Pretty strong words, what do you mean by that? It is, it's something that the media hasn't caught on to yet, but it is this, the chain reaction of what is going on right now will lead to this. And basically I'll be talking about how, you know, the debt that the government is taking on, coupled with the Federal Reserve's balance sheet that keeps ballooning, coupled with interest rates that they just wanna keep lower, will eventually create a situation, a collapse in the system, where you will no longer see the Fed in its current form. It'll be kind of abolished, if you will. And that's going to happen strictly because the people will demand it. And they're going to go over it. It relates to cryptocurrency because eventually you're going to see a switch over to this kind of blockchain crypto digital currencies that will eventually be the future. Okay, so you've outlined your thesis. Walk us through the mechanics of how this abolishment, this transition will happen and what new form the Federal Reserve can take. Yeah, so... so uh, the, the chain of events started actually in 1977 with the, the dual mandate. So as soon as the Fed got put in the position of having to monitor unemployment plus inflation, that was the beginning of the end for the Federal Reserve. The reason it was is because basically if you want to keep unemployment low at all times, which is what the Fed wants to do, you have to constantly stimulate the, the economy, right? By printing money, printing money and keeping interest rates low. Well, you can't be the parent that spoils the child and then also be the one that's hard nosed and says, well, we're going to raise interest rates because inflation is getting out of control. You can't do that. And that was the beginning of the chain reaction that I'll talk about in the presentation. After the collapse, you'll see a new body come up that'll be in charge of the digital currency, whatever it may be. And eventually you'll see this digital currency probably being used all over the world, even as the reserve currency. All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha Kodash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone because those are the men that I learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is the true name of the God of Israel. Yahweh Shai is who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, but his one and only true name is Yahweh Shai. And um, pretty much we're living during the days of Jacob's trouble, but it has to reach its heightened potential. All right. The whole world will go through a global economic collapse. All these different things that you see, such as the different pestilences or plagues or disease outbreaks, all of that is an excuse to be able to track what's underneath your skin and to step away from cash. Now, when they introduce cryptocurrency, cryptocurrency was introduced to get you to use or to accept a digital way of paying for things. That's why you have Apple Pay, you got Samsung Pay, Google Pay, you got all the different digital payment methods and, and systems to get you comfortable using that instead of using physical cash. Because right now, what are you seeing? You're seeing a war on cash, all right? They want people to get more comfortable using a debit card or using a credit card or using a digital um, payment app or system because they're going to do away with cash. So this is what you're seeing. This is why they're introducing the CBDC, which is the central bank digital currency, because we're in a time where very soon the hour of temptation will take place, which is a time period when Esau Edom, the so-called white man in sea line from the Rothschilds on down, all right, the banking families, they will make mandatory throughout all countries because they own the monetary systems, they own and control the central bank and federal reserve. So through their command, they're going to make this mandatory. You know, the MOTB, which is this, which you see on the screen. And this is what they're talking about on the World Economic Forum. How can we monitor all transactions through blockchain? How can we keep an eye on everything? So this is what's going to take place during Jacob's trouble. All right. And you had a lot of prophets. <clears throat> you had a lot of prophets that prophesied and talked about the times of trouble. All right. Jeremiah, Daniel, Ezra, plenty of different prophets. They tell you that there's going to be a time of trouble and we're living in that time. So concerning Jacob's trouble, that involves what? The persecution of Hebrew Israelites, right, under executive orders such as Project Megiddo, you know, Rex 84, the King Alpha plan, you know, um, people's freedom of speech being attacked. They're updating these different YouTube algorithms 
all right because they they want a censorship on the internet to where you don't expose or talk about the nwo you don't expose according to prophecy who the edomites are and what their agenda is according to the scriptures all right so this is what you're seeing so during jacob's trouble you're going to have what a global economic collapse the unemployment rate is going to be sky high you're going to have inflation turn to hyperinflation you're going to have crime go up you know these are some of the things that you're going to see all right so now let's get into the scriptures so as you heard in that video what did he say he says since 1977 this plan has been in place so this is why you're seeing them roll out the cbdc throughout all these countries because sooner or later the dollar is going to crash and they're going to implement this and that cbdc currency will be on this chip all right so now let's get into it so this is um going to be a quick video habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 3 it says for the vision is yet for an appointed time let's go into this word vision strong's h2377 chazon 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 right and what does it say it says vision vision in the night which the prophets they receive visions in the in the night of what would take place not only during their time but mainly in the future you have prophets that got sick such as daniel all right so they receive visions they receive prophecies what's the job of a prophet to tell you something before it actually takes place on the planet earth before it becomes current events so that's the prophet's job so yes the prophets are still here because what are we waiting on we're waiting to be saved and to fulfill prophecy all right we're waiting to receive salvation through yahweh shai by the way of the so-called ufos but before that physically takes place um before the whole world witness this there's certain prophecies that have to take place such as a global economic collapse in the form of jacob's trouble such as the persecution of hebrew israelites such as martial law all right them banning cash a one world currency that's on the microchip implant these things have to take place and right after that what's going to take place after that chip is made mandatory is what the destruction of babylon the great which is america by the way of nuclear missiles that's prophesied in the bible revelation the 18th chapter and all throughout the bible all right so they receive different visions similitudes right vision oracle right the prophets their oracles or or, or mediators all right through yahweh shai to relay the message of the heavenly father it says prophecy which prophecies can only be found where in the bible which consists of the apocrypha it says divine communication so when you read hebrews um chapter one chapter one and verse two all right revelation three and twenty yahweh shai yahweh through yahweh shai is dealing with the elect of the nation of israel the believers all right first and foremost the prophets to be able to what break down the bible so that you can understand the time period you're living in and why the current events that's happening in the world why it's happening the way how it's happening all right and you can know what's going to happen in the future and what's going to take place it says vision as the title of book of prophecy all right so that's the vision is talking about let's talk about prophecies or the tokens or the signs that will be happening in the world so what is it saying it says the most high answers the prophet right it says for the vision is yet for an appointed time because these prophecies are set to happen at an appointed time not all at once all right you had the 12 disciples they wanted to inquire you know tell you how shy you know when are you going to come back what's going to be the signs of that coming is the kingdom going to be established you know at that time during the roman empire or do we have to die and come back again in the reincarnation and spread this gospel so the prophets they wanted to see these signs that we're seeing today and they didn't get to see it at their pacific time because they had to deal with what fulfilling prophecy at that time spreading the gospel right and being persecuted and killed by the romans it says for the vision is yet for an appointed time but at the end it shall speak and not lie how do we know we're at the end pursuing the second Ezra six and nine and matthew 24 and verse three the edomites are in power the edomites will be 
the nation, all right, beginning with the central bankers on down, the Edomites would be the nation that's going to roll out this MOTB or this chip implant. And this is why you're seeing all these different news articles in the, in the World Economic Forum. All this information is coming out that this is their agenda to implant you with a chip and have a one world currency that's going to run through the Bank of England. Real quick, I'm going to read some of these screenshots. Now, this is from, you know, a video that I just did, right? Negative interest rates to CBDC to the MOTB, right? So this is going to let you know that what this is their agenda, beginning with the Rothschilds on down, the ones that run the Bank of England, right, that run the central banks and the Federal Reserve, no matter what country you're in. Right. And they run the monetary systems. So this is their agenda. This is what's currently going on in the world. They want the banks to run, run out of money so that they can close so that there can only be one true bank left. And all of this is a part of what? Their 2030 agenda. All right. These devils have an agenda, which, you know, we know, according to prophecy, they're they're on the most highest time. They're on the God of Israel's time because nobody has free will. Every creation is doing the will of the heavenly father. All right. Including Yahweh, Shai, the angels, so forth and so on, the prophets. Right. So I'm going to read some of this. It says when negative negative rates, banks margins will stay low. And the financial situation of the banks will stay precarious and indeed become even more precarious. The policy of negative interest rates is thus consistent with the agenda to drive small banks out of business. This is what the hell is going on now. All right. It says and um, co um, consolidate banking sectors in industrialized countries. Increasing concentration and control in banking sector. So this is what they want. They want these small banks to run out of money through their negative interest rates, right? Through the feds increasing or making the rates negative. And then what's going to happen? They're going to end up closing. All hell is going to break loose. You're going to see people trying to line up and go into the ATM to try and take out money. But then they're going to give people a smaller withdrawal limit. To the point where what? They're going to run out of cash. All right. And this is why you see this CBDC being rolled out. You know, you people, you don't even understand what's going on. Continuing on. It says, um, it also serves to provide a further. I'm, go I'm not going to use that word false right there because this is what's going on. It also serves to provide a further justification for abolishing cash. This is what's going on currently. And this fits into the Bank of England's surprising recent discovery that the money supply is created by banks through their action of granting loans. By supporting monetary reformers, the Bank of England may further increase its own power. This is what's going on. This is why you see the CBDC being rolled out. They're increasing their power. All right. Meanwhile, you people that think you got power, you're losing power, but you never had it in the first place because all of this was pre-planned from the beginning, as you heard in the video. It says, and accelerating the drive to concentrate the banking system, if bank credit creation was abolished, this is what they're working on now, all right, to get rid of fiat currency and switch over to a digital currency that's going to be on a chip. And that's why you're not going to be able to buy or sell, at least you have the chip because the one world currency is going to be on the chip. That's that's the purpose for it. Yeah, it's going to track you, all right? But the deception is the fact that if you want to buy and sell in this new system that they're coming with, this cashless society, which is prophesied in the Bible, you're going to have to get this chip. You're going to have to pledge your allegiance, all right, and make the so-called white man Esau Edom your God by getting that chip, or else you'll be an outcast to society. So this is what's going on. See, you people, you've been deceived into thinking that this is a thing of convenience. Oh, we're evolving as a people. You know, the world is evolving. We're becoming futuristic. Oh, cool. Cyborgs, transhumanism. But that's how you're being deceived. It says, was abolished and there was only one true bank left, the Bank of England. So this is what's going on, right? 
It says it would also further the project to increase control over, right? And this is why you're seeing the CBDC being rolled out in all these countries because Esau Edom, they went to what? Increase their control because they're trying to imitate or mimic the most high on, on the planet Earth through their technology. All right. It says and monitoring of the population. And that's what they're doing. All right. Read the Georgia Guidestones, you know, read in the scriptures, this devil's mindset, you know, their characteristics, their agendas. This is why you have depopulation going on. Everything is polluted from relationships are polluted because these women, they act like men. All right. Due to feminism and the women's liberation. Right. But not only that, you got the sodomite agenda. The air is polluted. The water is polluted. Products you buy in the stores polluted. The food is polluted. You know, you're polluted. I'm polluted. You know, this is why the scriptures say what? That the days have to be shortened for the elect sake, meaning the believers of the nation of Israel, the seed line or the descendants of you so-called Negroes, Hispanics and Native American Indians that believe on Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, according to the Bible, according to the testimony of the prophets. This is why the days got to be shortened. All right. So it says, and then you got Planned Parenthood. You know, we could go down the list. People diets is messed up. You know, we, we just effed up. It says, with both cash and bank credit alternatives abolished, this is what they're going to do. The CBDC is not a cryptocurrency, all right? Cryptocurrency was introduced to get you used to the idea of stepping away from fiat currency and accepting the mindset of using digital currency, all right? It says all transactions, money creation, and allocation would be implemented by the Bank of England. Do your research on who started the Bank of England and who runs it to this day and where their descendants are at on the planet Earth. This is going to let you know that Esau Edom is ruling and that is not Japheth. All right. It says with all money being electronic money, isn't the CBDC electronic money? This, this is not no conspiracy, man. This is real life. This was prophesied in the Bible. All right. The God that we serve is a true and living God, as well as his son. All right. The angels, the prophets, these prophecies are living just like our God. So whether you people want to accept it or not, you're going to live through it. And then you're going to know that what? That a prophet had been among you. So it says, with all money being electronic money, one can already predict the questions raised by the PR departments of central banks and keenly picked up by the mainstream media. How could one increase the security and safety of this digital money? What if one loses one's direct debit card? No doubt. Some bright Bank of England spark or else any of the talking heads in the media will then suggest we should adopt the techniques long practice with our pets, namely of implanting microchips under the skin as our money of the future. Come on, man. How stupid can you be not to see what's going on? You know, here you have beginning with the apostles of Great Millstone. You know, they've been warning you since the early 2000s about what's going to go on um, going on really since the 80s. All right, all the way up until right now. Now prophecy is speaking. So if you can't see what's going on, the most high blinded you and you're going to you're going to die very soon. But for the believers, what does the scripture say? Um Luke 21 and 28, lift up your heads for our redemption draweth nigh. Who's the our redemption? The elect of the nation of Israel, the believers, the ones that's hastening for the return of Yahweh Shah to come back. Because they acknowledge their sins. You know, they repented. So now they're looking and hastening for the Lord, our Savior, to come back, heal, and deliver us. All right? To, to make us perfect. To make the world a, a better place. You know, we can go on and on with this. But this is this is the agenda. So now, let's um jump back. So Habakkuk 2 and 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. So now we're at the appointed time when what? But at the end it shall speak and not lie. When these final prophecies are coming to pass. Such as the MOTB which is that chip. Alright? The digital currency that's going to be on the chip. 
this devil's agendas, that man of sin being exposed, which is Esau Edom. Everything is clear now. See, back then, the prophets, they didn't understand their visions. You know, they didn't, back at that generation, they didn't get to live to see what we're seeing now. But now, most of them are back, right? Because some of them is in the spirit, the spirit world, you know, waiting to be risen up. But the point is, now we're at the time where prophecy is speaking. Now you can see it. Now is proof to support the scriptures of the visions of what the prophet seen. So it says, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. So it ain't lying. That's why Romans 3 and 3 on down says what? You know, let not their unbelief, you know, trouble you. You know, you people are fools. The fool have said in his heart that there is no God. So, all right, keep keep that keep that same energy during Jacob's trouble, where martial law is implemented, where all these militias are formed, when these gangs get even worse than how they are now. These different cartel groups, different Sakari, um, Sakario groups. All right, wait, wait until all hell break loose and people's back is against the wall. You unbelieving people, you know you're gonna die horrible deaths. Thus saith the Lord. It says, though it tarry. Right? Well, something is Terry is kind of like like circling the drain. It's, it's like it's hovering. Right? One moment look like prophecy is about to take place or reach its heightened potential, and then it slows down. But nothing slows down. It says, though it Terry, wait for it. When you come into this truth, you have to wait for prophecies to come to pass. Things ain't going to happen just, just on your own time. Things happen according to the will of the Most High on the Heavenly Father's time. It says, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. So prophecy will come, but us as the faithful believers, we have to wait for it to come to pass. That's why it says, you know, Revelation 14 and 12, here's the faith and the patience of the saints. You got to have patience waiting on these prophecies to come to pass. But when it come to pass, that's for our benefit. So now let me get these. This is on Revelation. I'm going to start at verse one. I'm going to read down to three. It says the revelation, right? And the word revelation means what? The revealing. It says the revelation of Yahweh Shah Mashiach, because his name is not Jesus Christ, which the Most High, right? The Most High name is Yahweh, gave unto him to shew unto his servants. Who, who are the Lord's servants? Leviticus 25 and 55, the children of Israel. But more importantly, Amos 3 and 7, his servants, the prophets. The elect of the nation of Israel, the believers. Because now all Israel is going to receive salvation. Not all Israelites worldwide believe on the heavenly father and his son. Only the elect. All right. So it says unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. Which is what? Biblical prophecy in the form of current events. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John. Who, who bear record. Let's go into this word uh, record. Strong's G, 3140, Martureo. Martureo. I see what, what that means. To be a witness, to bear witness. When you when you a witness and when you bear witness, you've seen it. Nobody can tell you that you're lying, you know, because you've seen it. Nobody can change your mind. You was a witness. You've seen it with your own eyes. You got the record, Right. It says to be a witness, to bear witness, to affirm that one has seen or heard or experienced something or that he knows it because taught by divine revelation or inspiration to give, not to keep back testimony. So you stupid, you know, you, you dumb Israelites that come into the truth and then you leave the truth. You turn it back on the testimony of Yahweh Shai, which is the spirit of prophecy. And you're going to be destroyed for that. You know, you do is that switch the doctrine up because you offended. All right. So what? You're supposed to keep the faith unto the end. You're supposed to know what comes with bearing your cross. All right. And, and coming into the truth. So it says to give, not to keep back testimony, to utter honorably testimony, give a good report. This is what we do week in and week out and throughout the week. All right. This is what. Great Millstone is known for going out on the highways and byways, doing our videos or live streams during the week. We're not doing it because, you know, we want we want to entertain you people or, you know, we're trying to be 
celebrities. No, we're doing it to prove our faith, Romans 14 and 22, to Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. We do it together, but we're doing it as individuals that come together. It says conjure and implore. All right. So it says who bear who bear record of the word of the Most High and the testimony of Yahweh Shai Mashiach and of all things that he saw. So this is the revelations or the revealings that Yahweh through Yahweh Shai through an angel gave unto John. All right. And he jotted it down in the book. Whether you people believe in the testimony or not, it don't matter. The testimonies is faithful and true. How do we know it's true? Because it's happening. You can see what the Lord and the prophets was talking about thousands of years before it took place. It says, bless is he that readeth. So everybody ain't blessed to understand these prophecies. Everybody ain't blessed to endure unto the end and to keep the faith. And to believe on Yahweh and Yahweh Shai in these perilous times. Only the elect of the nation of Israel. It says, blessed is he that readeth. Everybody got Bibles in their house, but do they really understand what the hell is in there? You know, do they understand the secular history? Do they understand who salvation is for? You know, do they really understand these prophecies? No. Because in order for you to understand these prophecies, Yahweh Shai has to open your understanding. You know, you don't just wake up one day, oh, I know all the scriptures. No, you have to learn it. And not only does Yahweh do Yahweh Shai have to be dealing with you as an individual, but you have to learn from the Lord's men, which begins with the apostles and elders and brothers of Great Millstone. All right. It says, Blessed is he that readeth, and they, the elect of the nation of Israel, no matter where they at in the world, no matter how they look, right? No matter how they look, meaning what? That you're going to have the seed line of Jacob that look or have the appearance of the heathen, but their lineage goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Because salvation is strictly for the nation of Israel. And they that hear the words of this prophecy, to prophesy means what? To say something before it actually take place. It says, and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. So this is the time that we're living in. The time of Jacob's trouble. The hour of temptation is coming very soon. All right. Going to end it with this. Matthew 13 and 17. One of my favorites. For verily I say unto you that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those things which ye see. What, what, what did they desire to see? They wanted to know about the end. When are the Romans going down? When are they going to come back into power again? And go down again. This is what they wanted to inquire. When is Yahweh Shai coming back? When is this chip going to be made uh, mandatory? When is the destruction of Babylon the Great going to take place? You know, when is Jacob trouble going to take place? They wanted to inquire what's going to be the final signs that's going to be happening in the world to let us know as the believers that Yahweh Shai is coming back. When is the kingdom going to be established? This is what prophets and righteous men desired it says to see those things which you see which is prophecy biblical prophecy and have not seen them why they didn't see it because it wasn't the appointed time yet now it is the appointed time it says and have not seen them and to hear those things how do you hear it through the mouth of a prophet romans 10 it says, and to hear those things which ye hear, right? The different news outlets, the alternative media, all this information to support the testimony of the prophets, right? To support prophecy. Those things which ye hear and have not heard them. Because at that time, it wasn't the appointed time. But now, it is. All right? So, Lord willing, you know, this video was edifying. Giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem El Shai. Shalom.